I'm at the Mova booth right now, and they just announced two very interesting products. I'm quite impressed with the innovation Mova is showing. So let me show you these products. And the first interesting thing is stair lifting, similar to what we saw with Dreamy. This is not a stair lifting robot itself, but rather a chassis that the robot docks onto, which then lifts the robot up the stairs. However, unlike what Dreamy did, they took a very different approach. And as you can see, it has a very different mechanism, uh, the scissor-like legs, kind of like a forklift, which was kind of interesting to see. And, and I was very intrigued as to why they decided to go with this mechanism. It is significantly slower than others like the Dreamy because it has to go up the stairs one story at a time or one step at a time. You're, you're seeing the speed in real time. So as you can imagine, it's going to take quite some time to get up the stairs. I guess if the objective is automation or hands-free control, it doesn't matter that much. If it takes longer to get up the stairs, it's doing this completely autonomously. But I had questions as to why they opted for this design. Also, I had concerns that it would only work with wider steps. As you can see, the feet are quite wide. So I spoke with someone on the product team from MOVA, and, and they explained their rationale, saying that they felt that this kind of mechanism adapts better to spiral or round staircases versus the more traditional way other manufacturers are going. And when I asked about what is the minimum width the step has to be, they said it can be as low as 24 centimeters. Now, I did ask if this will work across all Mova robots, and I was told it will not work with the existing product line of robots. However, when they do release their new lineup of robots, this will be cross-functional, so it will work across many different Mova robot vacuums. And over here, they are showcasing their vacuum robots, and here we have the Z60 Ultra Complete. And I absolutely love the innovation in this. For starters, it has the carpet guard, which I think is extremely important. This guard over here uh, prevents your carpets from getting wet. I spoke with someone at MOVA and they said they were the first in the market to release something like this. Dreamy also has it in their Aqua 10. But MOVA is associated with Dreamy, so it could very well be that the innovation started here with MOVA. It also has dual brush rollers, and one of them has bristles, so it can actually dig deep into the carpet to clean it and, and get dust and debris out. It's also anti-air tangle. Of course, you've got edge mopping over here, so this extends to the edge to clean it. And there's edge sweeping with the side brush extending to the edge. Now, on the other hand, they do have a tracking version, but they explained to me this is still a concept one. They might not actually release this and skip this generation for next year where they would release another gen. Part of the reason is um, there's no guard for this over here. So they're trying to figure out a way to create a carpet guard to cover the tracking mop. In theory, cleaning performance should be better on a tracking version versus a rolling one just because there's more surface area over here, so there's more of the brush roll in contact with the floor. I very much look forward to what they end up releasing. One of the interesting models they have on display here, and it's still a concept, is the Cyrus 60. It has a robotic arm, as we have seen as the tendency. However, they take a different approach. Instead of having the arm from the top of the machine, which is going to take away from the space of the dustbin, they have it on the side. As a result, not only can they maintain the same internal organization of the robot, but this arm can actually lift more by itself. It can lift up to 600 grams, but apparently over here, they have kind of a finger that can go out and retract and hug larger items. So it can actually move a dustbin up to 1.5 kilograms, which is quite interesting. Over here, this arm works in conjunction with the mechanical arm to sweep, but you can also replace the sweeping brush with a mopping pad that can mop. So in theory, this can lift up the slipper while this arm over here will sweep under it or mop under it. The mop you change over here can be cleaned on the base station as well. Another benefit of the arm being on the side is it does not require a lot of clearance. So imagine the robot is under your bed and it needs to move a cable or a sock. It can go out of its base, move that around, whereas most competitors or all competitors have it on the top and they require a lot of clearance to operate. On the back of this machine, it has a roller mop, so it is similar to the Z60 that they introduced. So it's quite interesting, it's only a concept, but MOVA is thinking in innovative ways and this might make its way to market. 
I'd be very curious to see how it actually performs in the real world. In the wet and dry vacuum cleaners, they released the M50 Ultra, which again has a very innovative design. It's the first wet and dry vacuum cleaner that can actually flex. So we've seen these on stick vacuum cleaners, which can flex and, and go under furniture. Now it's the first time we see that on a wet and dry vacuum. So the flex can actually help you go under furniture without needing a lot of clearance or having to bend over much. That's quite interesting. I, I love this design. And they're also showcasing a line of cordless stick vacuums. It has a lever over here that you can use to push the dust and also compress the dust so you can maintain the cleaning efficiency but also make fewer trips to empty the dustbin. And it also has a second roller over here, which helps it get very close to the edge. So as soon as you hit the edge of the wall, this roller is going to make sure it is flush towards the edge and able to clean that edge well. And it seems they're also releasing coffee machines. So this is a manual espresso machine. And it appears here we have automatic bean to cup coffee machines. This looks very similar to the dreamy one that I saw earlier on their booth with a small milk frother system on the side. And this is a larger automatic bean to cup coffee machine. And this seems to be uh, their larger flagship model, which has a large touchscreen. We're going to see it's preparing coffee over here. This seems to be a separate chilled fridge to store the milk, so it's going to use that milk to create your milk-based lattes or cappuccinos. But not only that, Vova seems to be venturing into other product categories. We have a pulse blender over here. This seems like it does slushies or smoothies. And then there is this. It looks like a slow juicer. We have an air fryer over here and another grill slash air fryer, it would seem. They're also doing toothbrushes or electric toothbrushes. That's a category I did not imagine a company like MOBA would get into. And they are also demoing hair products. They've got hair dryers and styling wands over here. This is a very interesting looking hair dryer, C-shaped hair dryer. Wow. It has very powerful airflow. And you can change the velocity and see the reading on the screen. So that's 35 meters per second. And it goes all the way up to 65 meters per second. And you can change how hot or cold you want this to be. And apparently the benefit of this C shape is that you can actually put your hair inside this which helps dry it faster, but also results in smoother hair. And then they have here a styling wand, which can automatically curl your hair, as you can see. And it can also rotate, so you can rotate the head, which is quite interesting, and use it as a regular hairdryer. So this is the regular hairdryer over here, and these are all the different attachments that you can buy it. Another interesting category is pet care. They're showcasing a self-cleaning litter box over here, as well as a fresh water flowing pet water fountain. And automatic pet feeders. They're also showcasing projectors. So these are laser projectors. And air purifiers. They also have window cleaning robots, so you can see this robot over here is cleaning the window. Let me show you what it looks like from the back. Some robot lawnmowers with one strolling around fake grass and wool cleaners as well with one over here. And that wraps up my coverage of the MOVA booth. I did speak to the team on the ground and expressed my interest in doing my in-depth reviews and tests on both the M50, the Flex wet and dry vacuum, but also the Z60 Ultra. So hopefully I will get my hands on these units. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel to get notified when I release the dedicated full review. Until next time, cheers.